Larry Bird. Larry Joe Bird, born December 7, 1956, is an American former professional basketball player, coach, and executive in the National Basketball Association (NBA). Nicknamed a the Hick from French Lick It and a Larry Legend a, Bird is widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He is the only person in NBA history to be named Rookie of the Year, Most Valuable Player, Finals MVP, All-Star MVP, Coach of the Year, and Executive of the Year. Growing up in French Lick, Indiana, he was a local basketball star. Highly recruited, he initially signed to play college basketball for Coach Bob Knight of the Indiana Hoosiers, but Bird dropped out after one month and returned to French Lick and attended a local college. The next year he attended Indiana State University, ultimately playing three years for the Sycamores. Selected by the Boston Celtics with the sixth overall pick in the 1978 NBA draft after his second year at Indiana State, Bird elected to stay in college and return for the 1978-79 season. He then led his team to an undefeated regular season. The season finished with a national championship game matchup of Indiana State against Michigan State and featured a highly anticipated matchup of Bird against Michigan State great Magic Johnson, thus beginning a career-long rivalry that the two shared for over a decade. Michigan State won, ending the Sycamores' undefeated streak. Bird entered the NBA for the 1979-80 season, where he made an immediate impact, starting at power forward and leading the Celtics to a 32-win improvement over the previous season before being eliminated from the playoffs in the conference finals. He played for the Celtics during his entire professional career, 13 seasons, leading them to five NBA Finals appearances and three NBA championships. He played most of his career with forward Kevin McHale and center Robert Parrish, considered by some to be the greatest front court in NBA history. Bird was a 12-time NBA All-Star, won two NBA Finals MVP awards and received the NBA Most Valuable Player Award three consecutive times, 1984 to 1986, making him the only forward in league history to do so. Bird was also a member of the gold medal-winning 1992 U.S. Olympic basketball team, known as the Air Dream Team. He was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame twice as a player, first in 1998 as an individual, and again in 2010 as a member of the Air Dream Team. He was voted onto the NBA's 50 Greatest Players in NBA History list in 1996, and subsequently the 75th Anniversary Team list in 2021. A versatile player at both forward positions, he could play both inside and outside, being one of the first players in the league to take advantage of the newly adopted three-point line. Bird was rated the greatest NBA small forward of all time by Fox Sports in 2016. After retiring as a player, Bird served as head coach of the Indiana Pacers from 1997 to 2000. He was named NBA Coach of the Year for the 1997 to 98 season and later led the Pacers to a berth in the 2000 NBA Finals. In 2003, Bird was named President of Basketball Operations for the Pacers, holding the position until retiring in 2012. He was named NBA Executive of the Year for the 2012 season. Bird returned to the Pacers as President of Basketball Operations in 2013 and remained in that role until 2017. Bird continued with the Pacers as an advisor until July 2022, then after nearly a year's break returned to the organization in the role of consultant. Early Life Bird was born in West Baden Springs, Indiana, to Georgia and Claude Joseph A. Joja Bird, a veteran of the Korean War. Bird's parents were of Irish, Scottish, and some Native American descent. He has four brothers and a sister. He was raised in nearby French Lick, where his mother worked two jobs to support Larry and his five siblings. Bird has said that being poor as a child still motivates him e to this day. Georgia and Joe divorced when Larry was in high school, and Joe died by suicide about a year later. Larry used basketball as an escape from his family troubles, starring for Springs Valley High School and averaging 31 points, 21 rebounds, and four assists as a senior on his way to becoming the school's all-time scoring leader. According to Bird, he grew up as a huge fan of the Indiana Pacers in the American Basketball Association (ABA). Bird's youngest brother, Eddie Bird, also played basketball at Indiana State University, where Daniels would coincidentally become an assistant coach to the young Larry once he played there. Professional Career Boston Celtics from 1979 to 1992 Bird was selected by the Boston Celtics with the sixth overall pick in the 1978 NBA draft. He did not sign with the Celtics immediately. Instead, he played out his final season at Indiana State and led the Sycamores to the NCAA title game. Celtics general manager Red Auerbach publicly stated that he would not pay Bird more than any Celtic on the current roster, but Bird's agent Bob Wolf told Auerbach that Bird would reject any submarket offers and simply enter the 1979 draft instead 
where Boston's rights would expire when the draft began on June 25th, and Bird would have been the likely top pick. After protracted negotiations, Bird inked a five-year, $3.25 million contract with the team on June 8th, making him the highest-paid rookie in sports history. Shortly afterwards, NBA draft eligibility rules were changed to prevent teams from drafting players before they were ready to sign, a rule known as the Bird Collegiate Rule. In his rookie season, 1979-80, Bird immediately transformed the Celtics into a title contender. The team improved its win total by 32 games from the year before he was drafted and finished first in the Eastern Conference, in his career debut. Bird recorded 14 points, 10 rebounds and 5 assists in a 114-106 win over the Houston Rockets. With averages of 21.3 points, 10.4 rebounds, 4.5 assists, and 1.7 steals per game for the season, he was selected to the All-Star team and named Rookie of the Year. In the conference finals, Boston was eliminated by the Philadelphia 76ers. Boston's misfortunes continued into the next season, with Bird again finishing second in MVP voting to Malone and the team losing in the conference semifinals to the Milwaukee Bucks. Bird's 1988-89 season ended after six games when he had bone spurs surgically removed from both of his heels. He returned to the Celtics in 1989, but debilitating back problems and an aging Celtic roster prevented him from regaining his mid-1980s form. Nonetheless, during the final years of his career, Bird maintained his status as one of the premier players in the game. In his final three seasons with the Celtics, Bird averaged over 20 points, 9 rebounds and 7 assists per game, shot better than 45% from the field, and led the Celtics to playoff appearances. During Bird's final two seasons when he had serious back problems, the Celtics went 71-28 when he played. Without Bird, they had a 30-29 record, further demonstrating his importance and game-changing ability while on the court. On August 18, 1992, Bird announced his retirement. Following Bird's departure, the Celtics promptly retired his jersey number 33. Rivalry with Magic Johnson Larry Bird and Magic Johnson are known to be one of the greatest rivalries in sports era. Their rivalry began in college, when Larry Bird and Indiana State lost to Magic Johnson and Michigan State in the NCAA championship game. Their rivalry continued on in the revived Celtics, Lakers rivalry in the NBA. Either the Celtics, led by Bird, or the Lakers, led by Magic, were present in every NBA final series in the 80s, with Bird and Magic meeting three times. Magic got the upper hand against Bird, beating him in 1985 and 1987, while Bird beat Magic in 1984. National Team Career In the summer of 1992, Bird joined Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, and other NBA stars to play for the United States men's national basketball team in that year's Olympics in Barcelona, Spain. It was the first time in the United States Olympic history that the country sent NBA players to compete. The IA Dream Team IA won the men's basketball gold medal. In eight games, Bird averaged 8.4 points. The Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame called the team to the greatest collection of basketball talent on the planet. Coaching and Executive Careers the Celtics employed Bird as a special assistant in the team's front office from 1992 until 1997. In 1997, Bird accepted the position of coach of the Indiana Pacers and said he would be on the job for no more than three years. Despite having no previous coaching experience, Bird led the Pacers to a 58-24 record, the franchise's best as an NBA team at the time, in the 1997-98 season, and pushed the Chicago Bulls to seven games in the Eastern Conference Finals. He was named the NBA Coach of the Year for his efforts. Bird then led the Pacers to consecutive Central Division titles in 1999 and 2000 and a berth in the 2000 NBA Finals. Bird resigned his head coaching position shortly after the end of the 2000 season, following through on his initial promise to coach for only three years. In 2003, Bird was hired as the Indiana Pacers President of Basketball Operations. After the 2011-2012 NBA season, Bird was named NBA Executive of the Year, becoming the only man in NBA history to win the NBA MVP, Coach of the Year and Executive of the Year. On June 27, 2012, a day before the 2012 NBA draft, Bird and the Pacers announced that they would be parting ways. Bird said that health issues were among the reasons for his departure. Bird returned to the Pacers as President of Basketball Operations in 2013. He stepped down again in 2017, but stayed with the team in an advisory capacity. He continued to serve as an advisor until July 2022, when he stepped back from maintaining an active role with the Indiana Pacers. Nearly a year later, it was announced in June 2023 the Pacers rehired Bird to serve as a consultant. Personal Life 
In 1975, Bird married Janet Condra. They remained married for less than a year. Following an attempted reconciliation, Bird and Condra had a daughter, Corey, in 1977. Bird married Dinah Mattingly in 1989. They have two adopted children, Connor and Mariah. During his professional career with the Celtics, Bird lived in the Boston suburb of Brookline, Massachusetts. Bird has a net worth of approximately $75 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth. Playing the majority of his NBA career in the 1980s, Bird only made $25.87 million in contracts over 13 seasons as a player. Like, share and subscribe to our channel for more of the same stories.